As God created us in his image, he granted to us a series of emotions that we experience. All of those at times may pose challenges to us in our spiritual welfare and our spiritual health. One of the most common of those would be the experience of grief. Typically associate grief with the death of a loved one, someone close to us who's passed away. But in a broader sense, grief is our response to any kind of loss. We grieve over the loss of a pet that's been a significant part of our family. We may grieve over the empty nest that comes when the children that we've nurtured for 20 years leave home and begin their own families. We're not necessarily even displeased with the choices they've made, but we sense a loss in our life from the familiar that we've engaged in with them. And have a sense of loss that comes from a job that is displaced or savings that are lost or lifelong goals that are hindered and can't be accomplished because of health issues. All of those losses bring about a sense of grief. Now, experts will tell us there are a series of stages that people typically work through. There's the, the shock or the denial that comes when we first encounter that loss. That's followed by a stage maybe where we bargain, saying, if I'd only done such and such, or maybe now if I would do this or that, but of course, that doesn't change the facts of the loss that undergird the grief we're experiencing. Typically, there's a, a phase of anger that comes from the frustration that arises from that loss. The anger may be directed toward an individual. It can be directed toward a spouse. It can even be directed toward the one whom we have lost or to God himself. But anger is a concomitant type of emotion that goes along with grief. Then there's the period of sadness. That sadness may range from something that is just a disappointment, to a discouragement, to depression. But there's a period of time when we soberly reflect on what's not coming back, what it is we really have lost. And then finally, we kind of come out with the light at the end of the tunnel, and we reach that stage of acceptance. Now, everyone's journey through those stages is different. For some, they process very quickly through to acceptance. But others may, in the loss of a close loved one, take two years to plod through each of those stages. The important thing is for us to understand that everyone is unique, whether you're the one experiencing the grief or whether you're counseling, talking to somebody who is experiencing grief. Be patient and understanding and don't impose your time frame on theirs. Or maybe what it was was your time frame 10 years ago in a loss that is quite different now at a different stage of your life. The key is to recognize making progress through and maintaining function and keeping other relationships that we have healthy and enjoyable. Let me make some suggestions that you might try as you journey through this process of grief. The first would be to express it quantify. And we want to be honest with the emotions we experience in our lives. To deny that we're experiencing a sense of grief from a loss is not healthy. Quantify it. Write it down on a piece of paper. Have a confidant that you actually talk to and say, let me tell you how badly this really hurts. Here's why I feel the loss. This is what I think it's going to lead to down the road. But express it as openly, honestly, as powerfully as you need to. Secondly, then list your resources. What is it that's available to you over the next week or next six months or next two years? Who can help fill that void? Who can help do some of the jobs that that individual is not going to be able to do? Who's going to be able to offer some stability at the financial loss you've suffered? Make your list and choose one that you're going to encounter and engage this week. And then thirdly, step out and serve someone else. Find somebody who has a need. It doesn't have to be a grief need, but find somebody who has a need and consciously minister to them. It may be a phone call. It might be a card that you send, a visit that you make, an actual act of benevolence that you share with. But to get out of our shell, to become active, can be the most important step that we take in moving through the grief process. Father, we recognize that we all grieve that we all experience his losses in this life. And we pray today that you will offer the peace that passes understanding to all of those who bring that spiritual need to you in this time of prayer. 
offer us the guidance that we need, open the right doors of resources, and help us move forward and find your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.